In the new year, Jacksonville City Council will consider two pieces of legislation to expand the city's human rights ordinance to include lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people. One plan calls for a ballot vote on the issue during the primary next August. The other bill calls for a city council vote on the amendment. The plans come as the city scored poorly on a recent human rights equality index put together by the Human Rights Coalition. The city rated at a 26 out of 100, and that is the worst score for a major metropolitan area in Florida. So joining us this morning, Pastor Ken Atkins. He has a stance on the issue. We'll get to that in a moment. We also do want to say that uh, you're, you're against plans for this human rights ordinance to yes, be expanded. Uh -huh. We did invite somebody in support of it on the show this morning. Uh, he was unable to make it, so we will share some other views on this in just a few moments. But first, we want to ask you, why are you against plans to expand the ordinance? Well, I don't, I don't think it's needed. Uh, most certainly, if you look at all of, all of these statistics, uh, it will show that uh, no one has already, no one has ever been uh, cited for discrimination because they're gay or transgender or lesbian. And all of the, the, the laws on the books, uh, federal laws, uh, the state laws, already cover uh, the magnitude of, of this issue. So I think it's kind of a waste of time. That's number one. And number two, biblically, as a pastor, most certainly, I don't think the scriptures support it. You say that you're a part of a group of pastors that are not in support of this. Talk to us about that. Well, a part of not just pastors, also uh, from both communities, both black and white communities, business people. There are a lot of people who who, who believe that this is just another part of legislation uh, that's kind of that's just that's really laborious and not necessary. People in support of expanding the HRO, they wanted to include things that would protect people in public housing in employment and also uh, in public accommodations. So we do have a sound bite from Audrey Moran. She is the chair of the Chamber of Commerce and here's what she has to say about her opinion on the issue. But until every individual feels safe and equal, our city will never be able to be what each of us know it can be. So where do you go next with this? Because you already have a stance. What are your plans next to educate the public and make sure that something like this doesn't happen, in your opinion? Well, uh, in, in, a, in a week or so, that the, this proposal will come up uh, in, at City Hall. Most certainly, uh, our people from our community, we're going to encourage them to go to City Hall. We're going to encourage them to not only participate in the debate about it, but also be very outspoken about it. We're also going to start an advertising campaign in a couple of days. I think Wednesday our advertising campaign is going to be about, hey, making sure that the public understands that this is a bill that's not necessary. It's not necessary. We do want to get your thoughts on another advertising campaign from the opposing view. A billboard put up on I-10 near I-95. It was funded by a Texas group, and essentially it's asking for donations so $10,000 can be given to city council members who support gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender rights. What are your thoughts on this billboard? Well, I think that is a sick thing, and from my understanding, and I've had several uh, people already tell me that that uh, one, one of the people who, 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 are, who is proposing this, Tom Hazuri, may have already taken money. So I'm hoping that is not the case. I'm praying that it's not the case because it, it's illegal. And city council members have said that they are against the idea of taking money from that billboard campaign, several of them that we did speak about that we had uh, in the news here. So thank you so much for joining us, Pastor Ken Atkins, and uh, we will be checking back in with you as you continue your discussions. And we do want to let you know that we will be also checking in with the Jacksonville Equality Coalition to get their thoughts. City Council's next meeting is on Monday, January 4th, and Mayor Lenny Curry has said that he won't let any legislation on special interest groups dictate his next move. He says that he's hoping to be working on something with a plan next year.